Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone. So we're going to take a look at the energies for tonight and see what is going on here for the Collective at this time. So let's see what's going on here. Do I need to know at this time? got the three of swords coming out with the eight of cups somebody is walking away from something right heartbreak loss whatever this three of swords here somebody is walking away from it because they are in this sign of pentacles energy they finally got the strength and power to do so which is beautiful with the strength card here so I feel this is like a long time coming. This is somebody that needed to get in the power of strength to do this. Or maybe just, I'm kind of feeling it as like the last straw. You know, um, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, I feel this has been like a long time coming. And it's like somebody's finally like, enough's enough. But there's this fast moving energy. So it's something where... There's going to be some sort of fast communication. Like, it's finally going to be where somebody's just like, that's it. I'm done. Like, no, like, something's going to just end quickly. And, but it's a buildup of things, right? It's also because new timelines are here. Three of Pentacles. There's six of wands here. There is victory. You will be victorious over this. It's kind of what I was talking about like <laughs> this is like a happily ending. It's like somebody's been expecting for something to be like very painful. Um, but it's kind of like they've already been enduring this pain and something's going to just stop quickly. Because it's just going to be like, that's it. It's done. It's over. And then you're going to shift to this new timeline. Temperance. Nine of Swords here. Yeah, there's definitely a closing out. There's a Ten of uh, Wands here with the... Is that the Nine of Swords or Ten? It's the Nine. Somebody is stressed out and worried about an ending for sure. But look why it's happening. Two of Cups. It's happening for this beautiful love to come in. <laughs> it's faded. And there's the Ten of Pentacles with the lovers. <laughs> and the star. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is destiny that is doing this. So, uh, <laughs> I think somebody is just so used to just things not working out in their favor. That that's why they're in this energy. It's, there's choices here with the Seven of Cups. I'm focusing the most on the wings in these cups, or each of these cups represents something, as they all do, right? You can't really see it. But the wings very much are, are focused on freedom. Whatever this is, somebody is going to be set free. Somebody is going to just really know what it's like to be loved, I'm feeling somebody is really done with some karmic lessons. Yeah, there's a rebirth. There's an ending here. But this situation birthed an empress. Whatever this situation was, it turned somebody into an empress. So you had to undergo, I'm hearing, this situation. You were dealing with seven of swords type of energy. People from your past, you're realizing, were lying to you, deceiving you, betraying you. I'm getting it was for a long time. This has been a long time emerging of this beautiful empress. She had to learn her strength. Hmm. She had to be very strategic with planning and blocking these out. See the checkerboard there? This was a very difficult game. It's chess is a game of strategy. And you have to be very um, strategic and very careful. But not too closed off, right? Queen of Coins... She's very abundant. She's very resourceful. She's a provider. She's a mother. For some of you, maybe a mother. So maybe that is why it was challenging for you because you had your children. 
to consider, right? But this abundant new beginning, wow. Wheel came right back out next to the Ten of Pentacles with the Palace of Coins, which is higher than the King of Pentacles. And the Palace of Cups, too. You're getting the highest timeline for, wow. For love, success, um, oh my gosh. That's like having the highest king um, or the highest love and, and, and money resources, all of that. You know, I can't even explain how epic like the Ten of Pentacles is, right? Because it's like, this to me is like higher than that. And um, because it's, it's more than money, it's happiness, success, it's just, it's everything. This is a golden pathway. I've been picking up a lot of the gold, right? See the six of um, wands. See the gold just radiating from his wands there. Admirization. People are going to see this. For some of you, people could be getting brought back as we are in retrograde. So people from the past are going to be coming back. But as often, their tests to see if you've overcome them. I feel you're going to pass them with grace. Yeah, look, there's the Ten of Pentacles it's talking about. I don't make it up, guys. Um, I feel the energy radiating off of this. The, um, what I'm getting is that you're, you're definitely going to just overcome all, <laughs> all these challenges, obstacles, but it's like, some of these people are literally like meant to come back and to witness you rise. To witness you get this amazingness. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Ready? Ready to see day flip two? The Ten of Cups. Oh my god. I told you guys, didn't I? Did I not say this is like the highest, you know, like like the ten like above the ten of pentacles when I when I see the palace cards come out, which are bonuses to this deck. They mean everything. The palace of cups, the palace of coins in here is ten ten. Ten of cups, ten of pentacles. Look at all of that gold. Do you see the doorway here? This is like you going to your 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 golden pathway, your golden temple, your your new life. All those riches, all of that. But see the family, because I told you it's more than just money and resources. That talks about legacy wealth. Talks about building an empire, building a kingdom. Right? Just all of that is in there. All of that. It's, like, it's so beautiful. I, I felt guided to pull this deck out. I haven't used it in quite some time either. I forgot all about palaces in it. If you're interested, it's um, Tarot of Dreams. I feel your dreams are getting fulfilled. It's one of um, Cyril Marchetti's um, beautiful decks. He's an amazing artist. His decks are oh so beautiful. Oh, I had the Page of Cups come out before, and now there's a Page of Swords. You're definitely drawing in attention. People are strategizing to come in towards you, but you got someone strategizing to come in towards love. And I've seen the two swords too. So um, it's about decisions, right? You got to make a decision here because you got to choose this amazing. Like this amazingness comes in, but you got to choose it. Fool card, higher level of ascension. See, look at how amazing this fool card interpretation is. And it's, it's so beautiful. I know my light's still kind of washing it out. But, um, and the hanged man. I have to be careful because a lot of these cards are more, um, it could get flagged. Let's say that. <laughs> I think that's why I know you saw it. Uh, or on camera, but amazing. Um, so, yeah, the, 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 we've got three tens on the board now, ten of wands, ten, ten, ten. I told you things are closing out. The cycles are complete. Things are closing out. This is amazing. Oh, so amazing. I feel like I got caught here. I was going to clarify with the little deck that I have, the Marchetti Tarot, the little one. It's so beautiful, too. It was so much, though. I had to get the littler deck. Um, but I was going to use it to clarify, but I don't even feel like I need to clarify. 
the message is just very, very loud <laughs> for this reading. Oh my gosh, this is like, I'm hearing like high roller, like, like lounge, like you've entered like the high roller lounge, you know, like the, I'm getting like bottle service, you know, like where they have to move the, um, I was just seeing how they move the ropes and you get to go back there, you know, like, like you get to go to the <laughs> to the restricted areas. Like you're going to places you've never been for. Like I was walking around today looking at these beautiful mansions. Oh my gosh, and just uh, in awe of them. And I was just like, yep. Like I'm I'm so ready to be walking in these amazing mansions. So I was envisioning that because it's like I've never had that life. You know, I realized like yeah, I've never really been in somebody's mansion before. And seeing all of these beautiful mansions that are surrounding me, and it's just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm ready for this timeline shift. Like, this is riches. This is definitely in alignment with what I'm feeling. Like, I was picking up on that too. I've seen so many beautiful butterflies and dragonflies. Oh my gosh, like, I'm reminds me I need to look them up. Um, all the different animal messages and spirit messages and signs in the universe that they're giving me. Maybe I'll share some of them on my community post or some of you um because we're all really connected we really are especially if you're here watching this reading but anyway i'm gonna leave it here i'm sending love and light to all of you definitely feel free to watch whatever you feel guided to if this is your reading oh my gosh this is so beautiful <laughs> wow it's just off at the distance it's breaking look it is coming in look at this golden ship coming in all the golds in this deck i forget how beautiful wow all right so i'm gonna do another reading i'm sending love and light to all of you bye guys <laughs> love you